Hey, this is Dr. Linda Davis, and today I want to work through 13 keyboard shortcuts everyone should know. And so here's the list, and we have the first three I want to go over. Control B is for bold, Control I is for italicized or italics, uh, Control U is for underlined. So let me show you how those work on any uh, Microsoft Office uh, product. Uh, let me go to this one. So here's a paragraph I've borrowed from a paper, and what we want to do is just demonstrate. Let's take the word information and let's just highlight it. And let me try out the control B function shortcut to just show you how we can make that bold. It turns bold on in the um, toolbar area. Now, you may say, well, why do you uh, need to know control B? Why can't you just take the mouse and drive up to the B on the toolbar and hit B for bold? Well, you can, but that takes extra time. The more you can keep your hands on the keyboard, the faster you will be, and the more sophisticated user you will look like because you didn't really need the mouse to do all these different things. So let's work through a few. That was Control B. Now let's say we keep this highlighted and let's do um, Control B again. That turns it back off again. So it kind of toggles back and forth. And then let's try Control I. Control I for italics. Okay, now it's italicized. Let's turn it off. Do Control I again. And then let's try Control U. Control U obviously is underlined, and there we go. To take turn it off, just toggle it back. Control U again. There you go. So that takes care of the first three. So let's go back to our list. Number four, Control F. That is find. That works both on your own papers or your own documents you're looking through, um, or perhaps um, something online that you want to search out as keyword, for instance. So let's go to a document. This is my dissertation. It was. Um, huge. Let me get rid of my previous search. I'll do it again for you. Let's do Control F, and somewhere on your screen, your little search box will pop up. Now, um, when I did this before, I used, I just thought, well, okay, let me look for the word widget, because this was actually a 120-page paper, um, very large document, obviously, and I just couldn't remember which section widget was in. So uh, to track it down, so I could do some more editing, I just typed in the word widget, so I could just instantly find out. And notice that it highlights it every time it finds it and uh, helps you just get to that particular section. Um, right now, this was a 120 page document, like I said, so this is page 51 of 120. So, boom, I didn't have to go flipping through 51 pages to find where the widget section was, so I found it. So, that's great for your own documents or somebody else's document you're looking at. Obviously, this is Microsoft Word, so but it works in just about every kind of document I know about. And um, that's Control F. It also works if you're, um, you know, on the internet. So let me launch, um, let me launch the internet here, and show you how to use it if you're on a website looking for keyword. Um, let me go to CNN just for a quick go-to, and uh, let me do a Control F. And let's see. Now we had a recent California earthquake. So let me just look up uh, the word quake and see if that shows up anywhere in the headlines. And sure enough, here it is. It's in uh, yellow here, but um, you can see it down here a couple more times. It's in orange there. It's also in uh, yellow there. So um, that just helps you find it a lot faster, no matter where it's at, you know, on the page. So that took care of number four. And number five is Control Enter. Now, with the later browsers, you know, if you just type to CNN and hit Enter, it would pretty much know you want to go to www.cnn.com. Uh, some of your older browsers, uh, it kind of helps out. Uh, let me just show you real quick. Let me just go to um, some other website. Uh, let me think for a second. Uh, what might be good to go to? Let's do, oh, this is just Cedars. Okay, I just typed in Sears, but I'm going to do Control Enter, and that automatically puts the www and the .com on there. Now, it only works for the .com stuff, so you know if it's .edu or .net, that's a whole other shortcut. So, but we don't use those um, types of service .edu's and .nets that much. .coms is mostly what we use, so obviously the Control Enter is great for using it for .com and to speed you up on the .com searches. Now, um, let me go back. And what we want to do next, uh, these three we can kind of group together. Control C for copy, Control uh, 7 is Control X for cut, and Control V is paste. So let's demonstrate those. Those work in a variety of programs, whether I'm in a Photoshop kind of program like uh, GIMP or something like that, or as well as just a document. So let me get back to one of my sample documents. Um, 
And actually, one of the last ones is Control A, which I, I will do that. Control A just selects, just uh, let me click on this, just selects everything that's on the page. So let's say I want to take that. I did Control A, and then um, I want to copy it. I'm going to do a Control C to copy this section to the clipboard. And then obviously, after you copy it, you want to paste it somewhere. So um, I can just get my cursor in the right spot, and I'll just say, okay, Control V. V is in Victor uh, to do paste. Okay. And so that's Control V to get that to um, come off the clipboard and, and paste right there. So if we want to back up a little bit, and let me just undo that and say, okay, uh, maybe I want to cut. If I want to cut, well, let me do a Control A again. Let me say I want to cut out all this. So I can do Control X. Think of the X like scissors. You want to cut it out. And then if you want to paste somewhere else, obviously go to another page, go to another document, whatever the case may be, and then go plant your cursor where you want it to land at, and then do a Control V again, because Control V, like we said before, is paste. So that takes care of uh, those. Let me go back and review that. Control C, Control X, and Control V. We did all those. Now, one really hand. the next two, Control Plus, are really handy. Control plus will increase the web page size for you. Control minus will decrease the web page size for you. So let's just go to, um, let me go to this one. I noticed this one has really tiny print. And it's ESPN, a lot of tiny print on there. But let's say I forgot my reading glasses and I needed to see a score or whatever. I can do control plus and Every time you do Control Plus, it will get bigger and bigger and bigger and help you um, see small things that are on the page. Okay, and you can just obviously you've got more scrolling to do once you do that. Now, if you want to take it back and to a smaller size, you want to decrease the web page size. Do Control minus until you get it the size you want it, or until you can see the whole page. Because obviously, with all the ads, you know the page is rather large. The uh, Let's go back to our list. The next few we have uh, just some real, real simple ones. Control S for save. Uh, obviously, uh, you need to save your documents quite often. You never know when the power is going to go out, especially when you're working on a desktop machine. So um, let me just show you some samples there. Um, let me just take uh, this one, and we'll practice some of our ones we've already learned. Control A to select all this, and then um, I can launch maybe a new document file new and I'll do a control V and paste it there and uh, I also maybe want to save this document it's just a new document so it needs a name I'll do a control S of course the initial time you do control S it's like well what do you want to name this document and I'll just say sample four something like that and I'll hit save um, and that's fine also if I add you know any more lines to this um, So if I add that sentence, I need to save it. I need it because I've added on to this particular document. So again, I can do Control S, and it will save that last change. Control S means you don't have to take your hands off the keyboard. You don't have to go grab the mouse and go up and hit save. You can just simply, real quick, just do Control S, Control S, and you should do that just all the way throughout your documents because I've had you know all kinds of situations where all of a sudden the power went out and um, you know I lost a paragraph or two because. I didn't save my work, so you've got to hit Control S. You know, it's really after almost every sentence or so that you type. Uh, if you don't want it lost, you know, hit Control S. It's very quick and easy to do, and you just keep right on typing. And as always, knowing these shortcuts makes you look like a more sophisticated user. Um, a couple more, just actually one more, since I've already dis discussed Control A, uh, is Control Z, the other end of the alphabet. So let's show you that one. Control Z, number twelve, undo. Obviously, you know what the undo button is. It's right up here, you know, on the screen is undo. But if you don't want to have to grab the mouse and go do that, you can just simply um, go. Let me just go in here. Undo. Uh, let me, let's say I highlight it. I delete that. Oh, I didn't mean to delete that. I can do Control Z on my keyboard. And Control Z. As in, Z, as in zebra, means to undo. So it puts it right back to what you had before. So obviously, 
uh, I always use the undo button on when I'm practicing different things and learning new things. So I always, you know, make a few mistakes here and there. So Control Z is your quick way to just undo what you just did that didn't work out so well. All right. So I hope these great keyboard shortcuts will make you look like a more sophisticated user. And just keep practicing them. You'll get faster and faster at them as as uh, time goes by. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Check us out at techiewarrior.com.